How about this? That's better. <laughs> Actually, I think you were on the right track the first time. compound? Pentanoic acid. So uh, this maybe is not too important, but I think you guys noticed that here there's no E and here yeah. there is an E. Uh -huh. um, so I believe the rule here is um, if the next letter after the N is a vowel, then you leave out the E. <laughs> but if the next letter is a consonant, you put in the E. I don't know. Uh, that's right. It makes it easier and easier to pronounce it. Okay. Yeah. So after this, we have a consonant. So they put in the E. Yeah, pentane. So this is pentane dioic acid. But here, after the AN, there's a vowel, so they don't put in the E. That's the more normal case. Usually we don't put in the E. But if you're following the consonant, you do put in the E. Um, I think some professors don't care about that. But anyway, uh, that's the rule for whether you put in the E or not, whether the next letter is a consonant or a vowel. The key thing, though, is it's not conventional to call this di pentane oic acid. It's more conventional to call it pentane dioic acid. Um, all right, and uh, we don't need numbers because carboxylic acid groups are always terminal. They have to be on the end. Now, these actually are pretty important, these dioic acids. Some of these come up a lot in biochemistry or in the, the Krebs cycle and stuff. So there's a bunch of common names for these. And um, I don't know whether your course has covered those or not. So it depends on what your instructor wants. There's things called oxalic acid, glutaric acid, malonic acid, succinic acid. We um, you mentioned them. Acid. You mentioned them. Right. Well, anyway, I'll point them out in the textbook, and you can check your notes to see whether you're required to know these. Um, you would be on a different page in your book because you have a different edition. But notice, um, so what did we just do? Pentane? Mm -hmm. That's not even in the list here. But anyway, for example, propane dioic acid, the common name is malonic acid. Or butane dioic acid, the common name is succinic acid. Um, so some instructors would require you to have those memorized and some wouldn't. So I don't know whether you need to know those. But anyway, yeah, these are in section the, number one. In one of the midterms for nomenclature here, a dipic acid. Ah, uh, well, I mean, looks like he wants you to know. All right, but um, we don't need to spend tutoring time on that. You just need to find this in the book and make flashcards um, for these. Okay, so what we just went over is the, dioic, the, the, the shorter dioic acids have common names that it looks like your instructor might want you to know. So you just need to look up the common names for the shorter dioic acids and learn those.